Hi guys, just another sharing another Christmas project with you that I've just completed. Uh, as per request from my younger sister, she asked me to make her one of the exploding envelope boxes that I made for myself as one of her Christmas gifts. And we went shopping together down at my local um, scrapbooking supply store and I got her to pick out the papers and I picked out embellishments and cardstock and whatever else I felt would go with the papers best and this is what I have come up with um, here is the top of it I've just got a little prima flower here and I've got some little um, bling butterflies um, little crystals um, I've glittered some little purple waves on there just to make it a bit more sparkly um, then around the edge of the lid I have some lace that you can see that I've um, just left plain. I was thinking about inking it up but I just want to leave it plain because I feel like the white really it just brightens up the side of it a bit more and we've got tags around the outside they're all the same this is the tag beautiful beautiful paper that she picked out um, the back of it so it's got like a real purpley greeny bluey feel to it um, then when we open it up I've got another little prima flower down in here she picked out this um, the cardstock for the lid the turquoise cardstock and I just and she picked out the other colors of cardstock that I've used to make tags so I've just um, fiddled around with colors and ideas on the little inner pocket so you can see is the nice bluey purple greeny butterfly patterned paper um, we have these tags on the inside they've got a bit of ribbon that I found that I had that matched and some little lace um, I'm not sure that I'll stamp it up she's more into storing pictures than journaling and I'm going to be making her an art diary um, and I'm going to have some journaling spots in there in case she wants to turn it into like a writing diary. So I might just leave this blank and then, because she's my sister, if she wants journaling spots, it's nothing for me to come over and stamp or, you know, alter tags quickly for her just to add a journaling space. Um, then when you lift these up, these are your next pockets. They're... Um, Here we go. The tags inside again, like I said, I've left all the tags blank. I didn't want to stamp them or anything too much. I'm trying to encourage her to fill them up. And she probably will with lots of photos. Um, then we've got the next one. Is your it's got a um, two tags in it. This small one that I've cut out using um, one of the Tim Holtz dies with my Sizzix. It's the hanging sign die. And then there's this tag, it's playing on this side and on this side I've cut out some of the little fairies on one of the pieces of paper and decorated each one with different fairies or butterflies and all different sort of stuff. This is actually with the small pocket. Then we've got the next pocket. It's usually got a flap but I um, opted not to put the flap on this time. There's that tag that I've just put like a little matte piece there. And then when you flip it around, there's another tag in that one on the outside, just a plain tag. And the final tag that slips in to the side there. And yes, so that's everything. The papers. I am not sure what they are, um, I couldn't tell you because I've thrown the pieces of paper out with the names, I'm not sure what they are, but um, yeah, just found them at my local scrapbooking store, she picked them out, I don't think they're from the one range, I think they're a couple of different ranges, and um, thank you for watching, look out for the rest of my Christmas projects that I've been working on coming soon. Bye.